Instructions to the psychomotor skills candidate for spinal immobilization of the seated patient. This skill is designed to evaluate your ability to provide spinal immobilization to a sitting patient using a half spine immobilization device. You arrive on the scene of an auto crash with an EMT assistant. The scene is safe and there is only one patient. The EMT assistant has completed the scene survey as well as the primary assessment and no critical condition requiring any intervention was found. For the purposes of this evaluation, the simulated patient's vital signs remain stable. You are required to treat the specific isolated problem of a suspected unstable spine using a half spine immobilization device. You are responsible for the direction and subsequent actions of the EMT assistant. Transferring and immobilizing the simulated patient to the long backboard should be described verbally. You have 10 minutes to complete this skill. Do you have any questions? Spinal immobilization of the seated patient. The candidate takes or verbalizes appropriate body substance isolation precautions. The candidate directs the assistant to place and maintain the head in a neutral inline position and also to maintain manual stabilization of the head. The candidate assesses motor, sensory, and circulatory functions in each extremity. You feel that? Mm -hmm. Squeeze your fingers. You feel that? Mm -hmm. Moving your toes? Yes. Okay. The candidate applies appropriately sized extrication collar. The candidate positions the immobilization device behind the patient. I'm moving forward in your count. One, two, three. Ready, one, two, three. Okay. The candidate secures the device to the patient's torso. So I need to take a deep breath. Okay, let it out. You're breathing okay? Mm-hmm. Okay. Take a deep breath. Good. No. Still breathing okay? Yes. Okay. The candidate evaluates torso fixation and adjusts as necessary. Still okay, sir? Yes. Still breathing okay, sir? Yes. Okay. I, I 
this time I'd take me some padding, pad it to the groin area here for these straps. Is that too tight, sir? Nope. Okay. The candidate evaluates and pads behind the patient's head as necessary. Some patients may require more padding than others. The candidate secures the patient's head to the device. The candidate verbalizes moving the patient to a long backboard. Okay, at this time we're going to move the patient to a long spine board. We're going to place them in a supine position. We'll release the leg straps and secure them to the board. The candidate then reassesses motor, sensory, and circulatory function in each extremity. Okay, I'm going to check pulse. Pulse present. Squeeze my fingers. You feel all that? Yes. Good. Pulse present. You feel that? Yes. Wiggle your toes. Okay, pulse motor sensory present. 